Hello, and this is the tutorial on how to build a oil refinery and build craft 1.12.2. So right now I'm doing a voiceover because I recorded it and it was way too quiet. My voice is way too quiet, so I'm doing a voiceover now while looking at the video, so let's hope I don't screw up somehow. There's a schematica for this, but I don't know if I'll add it because it's not very useful and it's only one direction. But if people want it, I'll put it in the description somehow to figure that out. But uh, this oil refinery isn't like the most best or most efficient. It just works, and it's something I designed. So if you want it, you can build it. You could also could, there's also room for improvement. So you could also work on that too if you want. So basically, you, the output is like dense fuel, which is stuff you want, and you're also gonna have to like uh, empty the tanks and all that stuff because it's going to add up and they can break or ruin the system. But we're going to start here off with a pump. We're going to set an engine and lever, like you see on screen, and then wooden fluid pipe with heat exchange. And it's going to have to be in that exact configure. well, this exact configuration. And yeah, it has, it, it, yeah, so what's on the screen right now is right. So then here you want a wooden fluid pipe, and then, oh, I'll put the I put the tank down first here. You can make it however high. If I made it uh, like somewhat high, but if you're gonna make it higher, you have to take out the stuff less. And if we make it lower, you have to take it out more. So maybe higher is better. And you want a wood fluid pipe there, and I think I'm going to use a wrench right here. So, to make it face the right way. Because, like, the brown, like, filled in part of the pipe, like, right now on the left side is facing the wrong way. So, that brown filled in part has to face the tank. Also, I don't, yeah, okay. And there's a pipe plug on that. Right here I'm going to put a resident engine with a lever to power it, you can leave it on. Most of these engines you can just leave on running, they're not going to explode, which is a pretty good thing. Alright, for the next part you need a cobblestone fluid pipe and then you're going to uh, put a distiller in front of it, but it should be facing the right way, although I don't even know if it matters, it probably doesn't. But don't make it face like upside down or anything, because then that actually matters. And you want a wood fluid pipe on the top, and then a redstone engine, and you can leave the lever on. And then call some fluid pipe, and then it goes all the way to the top of the tank. And you want a pipe plug there, where that pipe was. So then you want kinesis pipes to, or three calls and kinesis pipes like that. And then two wood kinesis pipes with combustion engines on the end. Like that, you could, you could probably, you could fill it up with oil just to start it off. And the next part, you have to put a cobblestone fluid pipe with a pipe plug on it on the bottom and then it's going to connect to a tank or you put another one down first and then you put a tank you can make it however tall again same rules with the other tanks so what we're going to do is put a wood fluid pipe on the bottom, I think, yeah, on the bottom of the distiller. Then redstone engine there with a redstone block to the side. And then cobblestone fluid pipe in that configuration. And then a heat exchange, done the heat exchange. And then this has to be a stone fluid pipe, that's important. 
and then you use a stone food pipe like that and then there's gonna be a wood one on the side and a pipe plug on top and then another distiller and a redstone engine with a lever that could be uh, that could stay on Okay, this is the part where I talk about my schematic about it being directional or it can't turn other directions because I think of like the bedrock there because the bedrock is just the pipe plugs on the pipes not rendering so I think schematic just re replaces it with bedrock also I think I fixed the video quality and this just turned up the bit rate so it's a good thing and then down here you want a, a wood fluid pipe with a redstone engine on with a lever and then tanks and then this will be where your residue is stored this is just one of the by this is not the main product but a, a byproduct so then you, there you want a stone fluid pipe that like snakes around this redstone block which then connects to I, it connects to the distiller to the side and you want a pipe plug there although I'm gonna I'm gonna break it by accident and then replace it like right there so you do the same thing as before with the engines two or three cobblestone kinesis pipes two wooden kinesis pipes and combustion engines with oil in it to start it off And then from the output of that heat exchange, you want to put cobblestone pipes that connect not to the tank or that one. You need pipe plugs there. And then you put another heat exchange. Although this one's facing the wrong way at the beginning, and I use a wrench after this clip. All right, make sure it's it's like connected to the heat exchange to the pipe. So use the wrench here. I also want to call the stone fluid pipe connecting the tank and the top with the heat exchange. And then you want, well I already built this part up, but basically it's a wood fluid pipe with a redstone engine that I'm going to put somewhere else right there. And then just a, a line of pipes, cobblestone fluid pipes, that goes all the way around and connects to the bottom of the heat exchange. So sort of like, sort of like that. So now you need a tank at the end of that heat exchange. This this is the main stuff. This is where your dense oil fuel, I meant dense fuel, is going to be. So I, th I think this is the where I build like the, I build the water, no. This is where you turn on the levers to power the engines. So I'll take a block, redstone dust and lever like that, and then you can turn the engines on and off when you're using it or when you're not using it. And in order to uh, power the thing, all I have to do is turn on both the levers connecting to the combustion engines and the lever to the pump. That's how you turn on and off the uh, the machine. So here I build like the water sources so it could cool the uh, the combustion engines because if they don't get cooled, they'll explode, which will destroy everything. Yeah, so what is going to happen now is the, the pumps are going to be placed, although I'm going to misplace it like three times. 
or put it, yeah, basically displace it like three times, and then one pump is going to be for one pair of combustion engines, and three three uh, redstone engines each for each pump. Yeah, but this part I misplaced it, so I move it everything one back, and that's that's just this clip. And then in the later clips, I'm gonna put in like a lava to start it off. So what you want to do here is you want to put two uh, wooden fluid pipes, get one stone or more than one stone and more than one cobblestone transport pipe, and then hook up the combustion engines to each pump. So like the two at the top are going to be connected to the, the pump, right. and then the two on the bottom are going to be connected to the pumps on the bottom, or the engines on the bottom. So you want to get here, you want to get two buckets of lava because that'll be enough. The water, you don't need, you're done with the water. So you also want to turn on the thing, so flip both those, flip all three levers and it should start. So what you want to do is you want to put one lava bucket in that tank there and it should start things off, at least for that part. But it'll take like some time until the oil comes, a couple, like 30 seconds maybe. So there it is. The lava's just gonna like do that. It's not gonna really do anything, it's just gonna like get destroyed or disappear or whatever. So what we're going to want to do here to get the other thing started, we want to break that pipe and then extend the stone pipe to put a tank there and then put, yeah, so we're going to do that and then put a tank there and then fill it with one bucket of, lo of lava. And then you're also going to want to put an en redstone engine to power it too. Yes, yeah, so then you want to, uh, after it does the thing, after it passes through, you're going to want to break the temporary setup, the tank and pipe, and then put it back together, like I did there in the video. And then I turn on the machine, and then it works.
yeah, so that's basically the end of the video. So, hope you liked it. You can always improve on it. Make your own. It's not the most sophisticated design, but it'll work.